Now for the sliding curtain, okay? I feel like this is a really cool constraint. So once again, in the FX menu set, N constraints, and I'm gonna go to show the slide on surface, okay? But before I do that, you can see that I've got this uh, curtain and basically something for it to slide on up here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select this curtain and go to uh, end cloth, create end cloth. After I do that, I'm gonna click on the nucleus in the attribute editor, and I'm going to set the nucleus to use plane so it can't go through the floor. There we go. Okay. And I'm also going to maybe take this top corner here and I'm going to do a transform constraint. What that's going to do is just kind of hold that part up like that. Okay. And you can see that I need the rest of the curtain to slide on the existing track up there. Um, so I think now to do that, I'm going to select all the rest of these vertices at the top, right click, go to vertex, select all of those. Shift select what I want it to connect to. Notice it's not even physically touching it. And then I'm gonna to go to end constraint, slide on surface. What that's going to do, it's going to make a connection from those selected vertices to the existing uh, structure that I have selected. Now if I rewind and hit play. Okay, well, it, it looks like it's working, but it's just a little loose. Okay, so what I can do is I can select that constraint, and in the attribute editor over here, uh, you can see there's something called strength. I'm just going to put that to like 40. Now rewind and hit play. Ah, there we go. But now I need a way to open up the curtain, right? So what I can do is I'm just going to rewind back to the beginning and I'm gonna put a little handle on this side. So if I select uh, this uh, vertex right here, I'm gonna do a transform constraint and maybe scale that up bigger because this is the, what? Uh, Okay, and looks like I can't scale it, but that's okay. I feel like I can just grab it right here. Okay, and now let's test this out. Okay, I feel like the best way to test this out is going to be with interactive playback. So if I go into um, fields and solvers, I can go down here to interactive playback. I want to make sure that I'm on my move tool, that I'm on frame one. And now if I do this, interactive playback, I can grab this, I can kind of open this curtain up. Okay, and I can only play with it until it's done on my time slider. You can see that that actually stays there. So I'm gonna undo that to bring it back here. And I'll give myself maybe a thousand frames. Rewind to the beginning. Now I can come here, go to interactive playback. I can open this up. Okay, or I can bring it back. Okay, pretty cool, um, and it feels pretty, you know, pretty natural. And I could obviously tweak that a little bit, but I feel like just enough to kind of get the, um, you know, the gears spinning in your head, kind of thinking about possibility that you could do with this. So pretty cool, looking at the slide on surface constraint.